Well, got the liquid field heat swapper mounted. And it's just a test run guy. Had to do some fitment issues, clearance in the back here. Had to bring clearance in. Had to bring clearance back in. I had to nub the front corner. And going to have to build something off the bottom down there. Push that back. I'm going to take a little bit off the shroud. You see how it's hitting. Take a little bit off that. Build something to close it off. Got this side. It's leaned out a little bit further. Uh, Want to do some clearance and right there on shroud there cut a little bit of that off so i can pull it on back slide my condenser over just nubbing i have to grind on that i might just cut that bracket off might have something on the inside mount it too i'm just going to take and grind that out a little bit more that way i can take some of that out pretty it up a little bit more slide the condenser over and other than that, got it all clearanced up from the bottom. No rubbing issues, no rubbing issues whatsoever. Clear all the way to the top. There's my mechanic taking a break. Let's see where is it right there. Ain't no issues with anything rubbing up in there. Can't see though, can you? Oh well, take my word for it. But. I'm a, ah, yeah, I gotta fix this line. This a little bit on the high side. This one down here, they're gonna line up with it. That goes in that one right yonder. So, but I'm gonna go smoke me a cigarette, eat me a bite back out here and bleed the rear brakes can't bleed the front ones or is that's the reason why but i'm gonna get this thing backed out of here today so i can get the truck in here but thank you lord god bless